I'm ready to learn the Force. Can I ask you a question? Yes, my Padua. A question you may ask. Should I teach math today? Yes. Reveal your destiny, please. Okay, then, boys and girls. That's it. We're doing math today. All right. Today is week four, Monday, April 6th. And we are ready to go. You're going to be looking at your Google um, Classroom Google Slides today. And in this, you're going to see that you have... Um, a dividing decimal activity and there are two modes in this there is the present mode and there is the edit mode when we go over the lesson we're going to look at the present mode have it in present mode and you can always pick this and look at it yourself that way um, when you're uh, looking at it this way you can't manipulate anything you'll have to go back to um, the uh, edit mode in order to manipulate anything on the screen all right, so they give you those instructions again in the document. All right, and this starts out with the ways that you can represent division. It can be written as a sentence. It can be written as a fraction. Or it can be written with a division box. And you want to take your time and become very familiar with all of these. The vocabulary that you need to learn is given on this page, and it's the basic vocabulary that we've been learning and using in um, long division of the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient, which you can't see, but it's at the bottom of the screen. Now, the divisor, you need to become very, very familiar with how the divisor is used. And you can see on this screen, it's going to show you in the different positions that the divisor is used. In the next screen, you're going to know that the dividend which is also known as a numerator in a fraction, can be used in these various places on a division problem. So you want to really know these particular um, parts of the problem. In this corner down here, you're asked to type in an answer for what is the uh, dividend in 56 divided by 8. So you're going to look at that problem decide which is the dividend. And you're going to click when you're in the um, edit mode. Let me show you. You would escape out of this on the exit and you would type in your answer here. So you would click on this part and you'd see the box appear and then you can literally highlight it and then just type over what your answer is. And then you can either go back to the present mode or you can just continue going through with this particular uh, slide, uh, the field, film, la, 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 the film strip over here. Now this is a very short lesson and it's short because you need to pay attention to these main words of divisor, dividend, and quotient and the three ways that they can be written and understand that when we read these problems we would read this sentence type left to right the one that's written with a box, we read what's inside the box first, the dividend, 42 divided by 6 equals 7. And then with the fraction form, we would read this, 42 divided by 6 equals 7. All right, so all three of these mean the same thing. They're just three different ways that we can uh, write that problem. All right, when you get to this screen, you're going to see that you have to color code each part of this problem. So I want to be able to color code the divisor in each of these problems. And I simply would go to whatever digit is the divisor. And then I would highlight that digit. And then I would have to go up to the um, toolbar up here and I would select my highlight color, drop it down. And then if this is my divisor, which it isn't, it happens to be a dividend, I would pick that color to highlight that number with. And then I would go on to the next one and highlight and do it in the same way. All right, and so you're very near the, the last part of this. And the last part is simply a drag and drop the answer to the correct location with each of these terms. 
All right, so I know this seems like a really simple and um, quick, easy lesson for everybody to do because you're familiar with these things, but please pay close attention to the vocabulary. Make sure you know it. Um, you might even want to make yourself some handy dandy flashcards and ask yourself these questions. Do you know them? Do you know the definitions of them? Can you write the three uh, different ways to write a division problem? All right, boys and girls, good luck on this lesson and enjoy your Monday. Yoda, I'm ready to train.